today we're going to talk about how to have more passion and love in a relationship. And there's five little tips that I'm going to talk about in this video to help you bring out that love and connection that you so desperately want from each other. Now this could work in relationships with your lover, with your, with your um, spouse, or it could even be in relationships with your children, with your parents, with your siblings, or with your friends. These kind of things help in any kind of relationships because they just make people feel good. And when people feel good, they feel close and they feel connected and they feel happy and they want to be with you more and more. So try these five tips and you will see that your relationships grow more vital, more energetic, more fulfilling, and you will be so happy about it. And the first one is be present. Now when I come home from work, I take everything out of my mind that I've been going through on that way home or going through as I was cleaning up my office to leave for the day. <clears throat> and I put all that stuff aside and I walk in the door and I just am 100% present with my family when I get in there. I look in their faces and maybe and really present as I kiss them hello and ask them how they are and tell them how happy I am to see them. I'm there 100% in my body. And they really feel that. They feel like a new time has begun. I wasn't home, and now I'm home, and a new time has begun for us to be together. And even if they felt a little lonely without me there, or even if they felt a little bit like maybe I wasn't thinking about them, it's all gone in that moment when I'm present with them 100%. feels awesome. So the second thing that you could do is acknowledge each other. Mostly do this with thanking. You know, we say thank you all the time, even if it's for stuff that we do constantly. You know, emptying the dishwasher or, or picking something up or anything that we do that we even do every day, we still say thank you for that because it feels so good. It's so helpful to be noticed even for those little things. And it's really important to notice your loved ones for all of the little things. We so often have something to tell them to be different and we so often have something to tell them that's bothering us. But why don't we just counter that with all of these nice things that we could say about our family members, about our lovers, about our spouses that we appreciate. And this goes also for when they're striving in their life or when they're aspiring to do something, when they're growing in their life, in the work, in their career, in their mission for the world, to acknowledge them while they're doing this, to help lift them up and let them know that you notice everything that they're doing. So often in relationships, people feel like, you know, one's leaving the other one behind. One person's growing faster than the other person and, and you feel left out of that, of that passion that they have. Get involved. Get involved in that passion, even if it's just listening to your partner talk about what they're doing and talk about um, what's going on. You can give advice, whatever. It makes you be part of it. Noticing them, lifting them up, telling them how proud you are connects you. It makes you feel connected to the project and to them. It makes everyone, it's a win-win, it makes everyone feel awesome. So the third thing that you could do is do something that you don't want to do sometimes. I mean, sometimes you gotta compromise, right? Sometimes you gotta do what you don't wanna do because the person that you wanna do something with wants to do it. You wanna show them that you care and that you love them and you wanna be with them and it doesn't even matter what you're doing. And you know what? You might actually find that that thing is really fun because it's just so f much fun to be with the person that you love. So sometimes push yourself. Go outside your comfort zone. Do stuff that you don't wanna do sometimes and they'll do the same for you. So the fourth thing you could do is don't jump to getting defensive. Don't jump to getting defensive. When somebody is telling you how they feel or when somebody is, is saying something is going on, we feel so guilty. We feel so guilty and we feel bad about ourselves and we jump to defending ourselves because it doesn't really feel good to feel guilty. Well, instead get out of your own head and try to listen to what the other person's telling you. Because they might just be telling you, I want to spend time with you. Or they might just be telling you, I'm feeling bad or I'm feeling hurt about something. And instead of jumping to your defense and getting in your own head and you being the center, let them be the center sometimes. And just listen to what they're saying and acknowledge them for what's really important to them. 
when someone complains or when someone you know criticizes there's usually something that's really important to them that's in the shadows of that if you acknowledge that everyone feels better it, it completely uh, dissolves what they've been upset about and you never even have to defend yourself. You don't have to change, you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is acknowledge how they're feeling and everybody's happy. It's brilliant and it's such win-win. So the fifth thing to do when you are trying to get more vitality in your relationship is to be compassionate. So we have this thing in our house that when somebody is feeling really bad or irritable or kind of grumpy, everybody else gets really compassionate. We get really compassionate, and when we're compassionate, the other person calms down really fast. You know, it, it's, it's, we're so used to defending ourselves. When someone's crabby, we like, stop, you know, get, uh, calm down, or get on a troll, you're overreacting, or all these things that we could say to a person, it's not really helping them too much. It's not really helping them feel loved and cared about. It really makes them feel like judged, and it makes them feel bad for how they're feeling. But if you get really compassionate and be like, I know, honey, what can I do? Or give them a lot of extra TLC, it makes the world of difference. Again, it dissolves. Their irritability or their anger totally dissolves and you're back connecting with each other and loving each other and having a nice rest of the day. So I hope you try all these things and you love this video and you share it with everybody you know because we want everybody in the world to have the power to have a vital and awesome relationship. And it is available to everyone. If you are struggling with anxiety, go to GiveFearTheBoot.com for free videos and information about my online anxiety recovery program. See you there.